Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. Okay, so we have the Empress Major Arcana. We have the Seven of Wands and we have the Eight of Pentacles. So in terms of what we're thinking about for Thursday, the Empress sits here on her throne. She's uh, connected to nature. She loves Earth and is grateful for the abundance that Earth brings to us. She also is grateful for comfort and um, items and places and touches that also bring comfort and uh, that tactile sense. So with the Empress, you know, we, we think of someone who has motherly qual qualities, someone who is compassionate, who is kind, considerate, looks out for the benefit of others, someone who can reach out and take care of someone. Um, the Empress, again, sensuality and motherhood and fertility. The idea is that this strong feminine ideal where women um, give birth and they give birth literally and you know it's a matter of taking care of yourself of feeding the child and uh, doing your best to be healthy and so you know feeding ideas taking care of your ideas of nurturing your ideas is also symbolic with the Empress because not only is she loving, compassionate, honest, and looking out of the care of others, she's also creative and inspired and wants you to be your best creative self. So when we see the Empress, we can think of, there may be an occasion where you are extending your motherly love or your qualities of, of compassion and sympathy and empathy to someone else. Or perhaps you're in the process of nurturing a project that is long-term and that needs your attention, that needs your care. And um, for others, it may be a time for you to pamper yourself and to take care of yourself and to think about your physical needs, rest, joy, um, food, appropriate food, and time for play as well. So I think the Empress, it's such a powerful card in its leadership through sensitivity, leadership through love, leadership through compassion. So with the Empress, here we have the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands stands upon this little elevated turf, elevated hill, whatever it may be yielding or wielding his wand and it looks like people are below and perhaps they're attacking or perhaps he's just defending and the seven of wands is something that everybody at some point has to deal with which is to defend your ideas your beliefs to stand up for yourself when people disagree or people put you down or whatever it may be, is that you have to keep standing and to stand tall and that you need to back people off. And whether you use your wand as a go-between or you're using your words, this is taking care of yourself. When I see the seven of wands, I see that you are focused on perhaps not letting people take advantage of you or to run over you. That you're like, uh-uh, I'm in charge here and I'm backing you away. So I think with the seven of wands that um, to take the higher ground, to, to use your position, which is here's the elevation that to be elevated, it may be to, you know, honestly and courageously stand your ground and to say things. You don't have to be mean about it. You can just be firm. Uh, the word firm comes to mind when I look at this card. When I think about the Seven of Wands, 
firmly standing up for yourself. So with the firmly standing up for yourself, here's the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is uh, someone who is doing the, I would call it the precise work, the paying attention, the details, the focus, the drive to make them, perhaps he's trying to make each pentacle identical, but he's doing his best work and he's quite proud of it. He's displaying his work. He's really not worried about what's going on in town. He is doing his thing. And many people find comfort and find structure in their jobs or their craft or whatever they may do, that it's very, it can be very calming. It can be very soothing to sit and to make ceramics or to build metal models, whatever it may be, where you have a talent, where you have a skill and you are recognized for that skill. And more importantly is that you put your head down and you're grinding it out. For some, maybe it feels like it's a gr grinding kind of type of existence. For others, it may be all that you ask. And it always makes me think of fine watchmakers, the Swiss watchmakers who are so, you know, working with such small parts and pieces and creating amazing timepieces. That's a true skill, perhaps it's been taught that you do for many years and you produce some pretty uh, wild and beautiful watch pieces. So the Eight of Pentacles can, can lead us to work situations. Maybe you're presenting, maybe you are taking a class, maybe you are learning more to become a better Pentacle Builder, that you are um, in the process of expanding your skill set or bringing new skills to the table. But what it says, it says that you're very focused on what you're doing, at uh, the project at hand, at what you have to accomplish. Your head is looking down. You're not looking around and wondering what's going on, you know, and you know, think about what you're going to do later on that night. It seems that this is a very focused energy where you need to get this done. You're going to do your best work and whatever time it takes, you're in it for the long haul to make it a worthwhile project. And sometimes the patience in the creation, you know, it takes time to create your masterpiece. It takes time to create the beautiful art. It takes time to create the, you know, uh, the, the beautiful dresses, if you will, the sewing, it's, there's the nurturing that you put forth. It's the energy that you put forth. It's your eye of paying attention to what you want to do. So here we have standing up for yourself, believing in what you're doing and perhaps, you know, saying that to some folks, the Empress is the inspiration to be comfortable and yet to nurture your ideas and your creativity. And then the eight of pentacles is the, the hard work that's associated with building and nurturing and what you want to accomplish. So interesting cards for the day. Numerology wise, we have three and seven is 10. 10 and 8 is 18. 18 reduces to 9. 9 is about nearing the end or the completion. It's about wisdom, spirituality, um, being idealistic in some sense. And then finally, let's choose an oracle card for the day. Karma releasing Saint Germain. Move beyond drama, create your own path, make room for good energy. Well, move past the drama, create your own path, make room for good energy, focus on what you need to do. So friends, this is what I have for you for the day.
I hope you found something helpful here. If you did, please subscribe, like this video, share this video, leave a comment below. Have a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.